Hey guys, it's Sarthuk from FTC Team 9794Wizards.exe. You may have heard that a couple days ago that the new Doge CV uh, library um, has been released for the Skystone season. So I'm just going to make a quick video showing you guys how to uh, quickly install Doge CV into your Android Studio project. Um, so the first thing I want to do is we're going to have to go to the Doge CV um, GitHub repository. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and if you just Google Doge CV, it should be the first link that pops up on your screen. Yep, so it's going to be this, the FTC Vision Library. And let's see. So the installation process is actually a little simpler than what it's been in previous releases and previous competition seasons, as we don't really have to download anything to start off. So the installation instructions are right here. And I'm just going to show you guys what we're going to have to walk through to quickly install this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Android Studio project, um, the Skystone F um, FTC SDK. And then if you haven't switched your view menu um, to Android uh, from the project menu, I just switch it over to Android as it'll make it a little easier uh, for finding the files we need. But the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to copy and paste uh, this line right over here, uh, the Maven URL uh, for jitpack.io. So you just want to copy that. And if you go into Android Studio, you want to find the build.gradle file that's for the project level, so the Skystone one, for my case, since that's the name of my project. But you want to find it for your project level. Then you're just going to want to uh, paste that in the last line under the repositories section under all projects. Uh, there's one more change we have to make. So if we go back over here to the GitHub repository, we're going to have to copy this line right over here. So I'm just going to copy that real quick. And then we're going to have to go to the build.release.gradle file for the team code module. So I'm going to go back into Android Studio. Um, we can find a team code module. We see that this is the build.release.gradle. So we can open that up. We'll add an extra line. And then I'm just going to paste that into there. So that looks like those are the only two Gradle changes we have to make. So we can just press the sync now button. And it should pretty quickly configure your project and do the Gradle sync successfully without any errors. Um, now, there is one more change we have to do. So since um, Doge CV, CV is now built, um, or it, it's, it depends on the um, easy open CV, um, we're going to have to download one of the files and transfer it to our robot controller phone. So I'm just going to open this link in a new tab. It's just going to lead to a um, file over here that we're going to have to download. Uh, if you just check back on your Android Studio project, you should see that the Gradle uh, syncs successfully. So that's good. But we're just going to have to download this file. Uh, once it downloads, yep, there we go. I'm going to go into my File Explorer. Uh, just refresh my downloads folder. Yep, so it's going to be this file. So you can go ahead and copy that. Now, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to connect your robot controller phone to your laptop or computer, um, and then set it up for it to be able to transfer files. So I have my robot controller phone over here. Let's we'll go to the internal storage. You'll want to find the first folder. Uh, let's see, where is that? Here we go. And I believe you just want to copy it over here. I'll double check. Go back to the instructions. Yes, yeah, so you just want to put it into the first folder of the internal storage. So that's what we have over here. So you can go ahead and paste that file in here. And it should copy over pretty quickly. And you should be all set. So your Android Studio project should now be set up with Doge CV. Your robot controller phone should be all good to go. I guess one thing to note is that for every phone you use on your robot that uses Doge CV, you're going to have to copy and paste that file over there which might be a little inconvenient, but just make sure you do that uh, just to make sure you don't get any errors or nothing um, crashes in your app. But that wraps up this quick video. Um, in our next videos, we're going to walk through some of the example detectors for the Skystone season. So Doge CV has actually made um, two detectors specifically for the Skystone season, one that detects the Skystone, like the, the one at the vision target, and one that just generally detects the different stones on the field. So we'll walk through that in um, our next videos, which should be coming out pretty soon. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please be sure to let us know in the comments below. Or you can also email us at wizards.exe at gmail.com. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
Um, if you guys have any questions, again, please just let us know, and we'll get back to you as soon as you can, as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.